Hey guys, C Wade here doing Hack This Site Real Estate Mission 11. Before we begin, I'm going to recommend a few tools and services so you can bypass this mission as I do in an easier manner. I'm going to recommend Mozilla Firefox with the add ons of Firebug, Fire Cookie, and User Agent Switcher. I'm using Mozilla Firefox 3.5.2 in this tutorial. You're also going to need a free web host. I recommend t35.com. And with that, you're going to need a valid email address for your registration. I recommend gmail.com. If you do not have any of the recommended tools or services, please pause this video and get them now. Go ahead and log in to hack the site. We're going to go to our real estate missions. And we're going to go to Realistic 11, take the challenge. And we need to help Space46 from Space46.not out uh, get his source.tar.gz backup archive back so I'm gonna put that in Google search for now just have it up there so we can get to it easier in a bit we're gonna go through uh, this web hosting sites pages navigate through them and we're gonna we're gonna come across webmail so I'm gonna try an SQL injection and if we do or if we just try to log in we get due to a recent security breach webmail is currently unavailable so we go to some sort of different step and as you are navigating through the pages you notice that we have our page equals parameter but with that it's a Perl script page.pl so what we're gonna try to do is first check for file inclusion vulnerabilities uh, the remote one and we get page cannot and then some sort of symbols we can check for local we get same error and if we just type in nothing we get some sort of error so let's type in something random after our page equals parameter and we get open file pages slash and then that no such file or directory so what we need to so what this is basically doing is page.pl is parsing whatever the value of after our page equals is from our pages uh, directory so I'm going to try to go to the pages directory and it's HT access nothing here so or they just have an index file there either or so what we're gonna do is now we're going to now it's Perl so what we're gonna try to do now is pipe command uh, exploding and we're just gonna type in our straight line symbol which is shift and it's right next to our right bracket and we're gonna type that in and we get uh, no errors so this is trying to parse something but there's nothing to parse so if you go back to hack this site basic 7 or 8 you remember the unix command to list the directories was ls so we're gonna type that in and we still get nothing so after our ls we're going to do another straight line symbol so we've got for our pipeline command a straight line ls straight line and when we hit enter it's listing all the directories and files um, through a parse page so these are all the files that are in the pages directory basically we have admin a database file client http docs images let's go to the admin directory and check for an SQL uh, vulnerability login incorrect so it's likely not vulnerable to any sort of SQL injection so what we're gonna have to probably do now is look through some of the clients websites and try to find an exploit through some sort of database SQL file so we can get their login information to the admin panel so let's go to our H client HTTP docs directory and here's other clients we we're, we're, we were looking for space 46 but when we go there we get this account has been suspended so we're gonna go look at everybody else's sites uh, nothing here that's just a submit button um, potato works under construction the right way radio forums we have a radio center about page register 
So this is going to be working with SQL files because, or like an SQL database, because I highly doubt it's going to be working with flat files to store. Let's look all these forum posts, all this stuff. So we're going to go to register, and we're going to get some sort of error that says, or some sort of notification, and it's basically telling us that due to the recent attack, you now need an auth code, which is basically a private invitation to register. So we cannot register. We're going to have to find some way to gain access to login. So if we look at their news, they're, say, they're talking about the hackers, and they say that they have a script which tells them what browser we're using. And we know from our last tutorial that user agents defines the browser. So um, they have a demonstration of the script's capabilities. And when we go there, it shows people's, like, uh, user agent following what page they're on so and if you didn't notice it's an HTML file so what it's doing is when somebody comes to the site and goes to a page what's going on is um, basically it takes your user agent and it parses HTML and it parses it to an HTML file so what we could do is cross script and we can um, write a script in our user agent actually to uh, do to steal a cookie but in order to steal the cookie it's not going to be like one of our last tutorials like realistic mission 9 we're actually going to need to do it remotely so uh, it navigates to another uh, website that's why you need your free web posting and we need to make a PHP file and then a txt document so we can get the results of any stolen cookies so we're going to create a uh, New PHP file under your web host. I'm just going to call mine hts11.php. Error log, whatever. Delete that. And then we're going to create cookie.txt. And ch give that chmod666 uh, permissions. And out of courtesy and time, I'm trying to save as much time as I can. I've already uh, have, have the codes here. So... I'm just going to go ahead and paste those in. I'll put those in the description box. But if you want a challenge, try to learn it yourself. And if you can't figure it out, then go to the description box. So that's there. Now what we're going to do is um, we're going to go to our user agent switcher, edit user agents, and we're going to create a new one. And I'm just going to call it hacked. And for the user agent itself, we're going to insert a script. And you're going to link it to your PHP file. So, HTTP, your website, your directory. And then I named mine ht11.php. But that's not it. You also have to have in the, uh, the question mark with the cookie parameter equals. And then we're going to do plus document.cookie. So you can go uh, look in the YouTube description box for the example of how that would work. We're going to go OK, Tools, uh, and we're going to go to our hacked, that's what I named it, hacked user agent. And we're going to refresh the page, and it says your cookie stealer appears to have worked. You go and check. So I'm going to switch my user agent back, and I'm going to go to where I saved my file. HTS, or, uh, it saves under cookie.txt. Remember that you have to make cookie.txt or else there's going to be an error. So go to your cookie.txt and it stole someone's session. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to copy this and I guess we're just going to have to remember that source.tar.gz. We're going to go back to the main page and we're going to write in a little JavaScript injection. It's not much of an injection. We're just going to insert a cookie through JavaScript. JavaScript void document dot cookie equals. And then we're going to do RW. Uh, what was it? Uh, we'll just paste it in here. Because I'm not typing all that. Um... And we should have that sh if you typed it in right. I'll paste that also in the description box. 